Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. Today I'm going to give you an example of a free security tool that's already built inside your Windows machine. It's also actually built inside Ubuntu and the tool is called Netstat. And what Netstat does, it will give you a, an overview of connections and IP addresses um, and the listening ports. So that can be very important if you are, have the idea that maybe your computer has been taken over by a botnet or it's part of a botnet. Maybe you're infected uh, by a virus um, and you want to know uh, what kind of connections are open to your computer. Uh, so here, if you go to uh, task manager and you go to uh, here processors and this is ethernet. Let's say for instance, you're not doing anything with your computer anything at all, but it still keeps sending and receiving data. At this very moment, you see no data is being received, nothing is being sent away. So that sees, yeah, that looks good. Uh, but if you want to make sure what type of connections are open, especially if you see uh, this going on and you're not doing anything particular with your machine, then you want to know what kind of connections are open. Again, the tool is called Netstat. So you go to the command uh, line or to, uh, Microsoft uh, DOS here and type in netstat just to make sure cmd here and type in here start and this is in Dutch because I'm from Holland and uh, you come here to the this DOS window you type in netstat hit enter and you get an overview of the connections that are open at this very moment local address foreign address this is always the address that your computer connects to is this an established connection or is it waiting to be closed down? The only thing I can see here is OBS because I'm recording this video and this is some licenses information that's being uh, stopped. And um, this is all the active connections that I have now. But this is just normal Netstat. With Netstat uh, N, oh, this is basically the same. My Apologize, I apologize. This way you display the own process ID associated with each connection. And as you can see, there's not much to show here because my computer is fairly clean. I only do video editing on here. I barely use the web. I only for uploading videos from time to time. Um, but this is actually a great way for you. And the same thing applies to Linux to see what's going on. Here you see a process ID um you can even do some um ns lookups on certain ip addresses but i tried that earlier before i wanted to make this video and i tried this ip and nothing came back so i think it's fair to say that my computer is, is kind of clean but if you have suspicion that again that your computer might be part of a botnet or something else and, and it keeps uh, sending uh, data away even if you're not using the web or you're not having any conference calls or anything and you see here um, sent data or received data and you see it's like a constant connection um, and you have no idea what that might be there's another way to check it out and you can do some uh, NS lookups on the IP addresses for instance um, and find out more about what it is if you have a firewall connected to this computer, you might even want to be uh, want to block this IP address. For instance, if you're not sure and see if still all the applications on your Windows machine uh, work well, of course, you can find out a lot of information on IP addresses, uh, uh, domain names online. I would do a little bit of research, but this is actually a very easy way to find out what kind of active connections uh, are established towards your machine. And yeah, you're already on the internet anyway, you can do a little bit of research about the IP address. So this is basically what I want to say in the future, I will keep on reviewing all these kind of tools, tools that you don't even have to spend money on because it's already built in your machine. You just need to know a little bit about the uh, MS-DOS or the command line when it, when it comes to Linux. Uh, thanks for watching this video. We hope to see you guys in the next one.